Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share uh, a bunch of pages and they're outdoorsy, nature. I thought it'd be uh, good for maybe, we were hiking on some of them, so um, they might be good also for camping or um, outdoor kids playing outside, hiking, whatever. So, um, first of all, this is, um, there are design space links at my website at meandmycricket.com. So you can copy any of these pages that you like. You can find them on my website. All right. So to begin with, this is at Cypress Mountain. We decided to hike for a day. Um, it was in the winter. It's Vancouver, so it's, um, there's still lots of fern and greenery on the uh, on the ground in the winter so I for a lot of these pages I thought what are outdoor critters or things that I would see in the woods and I made a list and I squirrels was one of them acorns that sort of thing so it made it easier for me to pick a theme for a because I knew I would be doing quite a few pages. I've given half of them away to the couple we were with already, so there's not all of them here. They're all on my posted on my website, though. So there'll be a lot more ideas there for you to find. So this is my squirrel page <laughs> with acorns. So to begin with, uh, I, I chose from the colors. These photos are very dark. Uh, so I picked from the green and the browns and uh, found a pretty paper that I liked and then pulled the the um, darker colors from from there. I did a border all along the bottom on this page, both sides, and I used a large deep edge border punch, that's tulips, for a, uh, orange for a pop of color um, to just make things pop a bit. I pulled it from this paper and um, so I then just placed my photos ar around and created a little scene with um, chipmunks or squirrels. And um, I did a, a little cluster of acorns. I put little bugs on them. There's another bug. I found an acorn border, which I love, and another single acorn image. So I put little bugs on them because I just, I like adding bugs to outdoor pages, I guess. Um, and I love my little squirrel images. I, I try to use a patterned paper for one layer of uh, images in Cricut Design Space. I think it makes a big difference. On this one, I actually used two. But you can see these squirrels um, with having a printed paper. It gives them more, more texture. So um, I did that. And on the leaves here, I did a printed paper for the leaf. And that has leaves on it. So I, I like using, uh, usually I do one layer that's patterned. And it, it would often be the largest layer that is patterned. Like I did this one here. So anyway. Oh, I did uh, add some uh, enamel dots for color on these. On some of those tulips as well. Okay, let's. Oops, it's falling off. So this page, I just did uh, kiwi lane borders all along the bottom. I found a nice multicolored print in uh, green outdoor colors, and then use coordinates. Uh, for the background and the layer. I did some pretty frames. Um, I like these frames. I think They're from Cindy Lou Cartridge, I believe. And then I found a great big flower and it put, put it right across both, both pages. I added, I uh, cut this into an oval to fit into the waves. It has a curvy motion to fit in the curves. Put a, a title on here that it was in my stash. And then uh, added some extra flowers that were, I found a flower that looked like the flowers on this paper. 
So uh, I just added that. It's quite simple, just a little bracket here, just to decorate a bit. Some tiny little flowers here and there. There's another page idea. So this page is, uh, I just love this moth and I was looking for an excuse to use them. So I, um, <clears throat> I did Kiwi Lane here too. I like them on outdoor pages. They seem to create a ground or a scene. Um, so uh, I, I really like using them. This is uh, the three layers of um, Kiwi Lane. I did one at the top here and the bottom here. And on this top one, I lifted it with foam squares underneath. Um, I found design space images that I liked. And then I just framed this photo with a border punch. I did actually all of them with the border punch and tucked them behind these Kiwi Lane layers that made my page very simple with just one big image on it. Oh, a title, Nature. So, um, loving that moth image. I think it's from Art Nouveau. So, this one is, um, I thought this would be a cute camping page too. I created a scene with one Kiwi Lane border at the bottom. And then I did a lot of trees, a tree border. I repeated it here and there, did another tree, a different size. Then I added a, a caribou or a deer off of this side. I put um, a deer behind these trees, put a bird, in, an eagle in flight, and a little, for comedy, a groundhog coming out of the ground. These, these are Disney images. But um, in the design space links on my website, wherever there's a Disney image, this is, and this deer is um, from Bambi. I have replaced them with another image so that the link will open for you. You can still copy. Then I just added a flourish to fill in a little bit of space. And um, I matted this photo with, uh, well, all of them with this floral print. Uh, I used it on those circles as well. By cutting these pictures into circles, it gives me more room to put cre cricket images on this page or to create my scene. And I just put them walking sort of in between the trees and that sort of thing. So that was fun. A fun page. Um, we did actually, my husband saw uh, a raccoon. He didn't tell me because he knew I would have left. <laughs> I would have been mortified. So um, I saw the photos of the raccoon after. And uh, so I, I had a theme for a page, raccoons. So I found this image, did that, and um, I made a, another a border with a leaf border punch. I used some enamel dots on it down here in the far corners. I did this beautiful pine cone image. It's a uh, border image. It's Anna Griffin. These images are from her cartridges. Love her cartridges. I like the detail of them. I find them uh, quite elegant. Um, I picked, I repeated this, this paper in the frame for this photo here. Um, and then I lifted this one up on foam lifters. So there's my pine cone and raccoon page. Another one of the uh, items on my list was an owl. So I decided to do a fun owl page. Here's a panoramic photo of <clears throat> the trail we were following. And there we're standing on a bridge. Um, so I just, I did a great big uh, paper frame. I just used a, a patterned paper because um, it was such a big photo. And I, I found brightly colored paper to do my funky owls on. And I did a, a funky tree here 
and swirls with them. Um, I used a lot of Crystal Nouveau drops in all of this on here, and um, so that made it fun. I repeated this paper um, to make a base for this tree to stand on, and I just did a couple of leaf images over there, and I put a few mushrooms here and uh, a ladybug. I love these owls on the branch. They're very cute. Lots of fun making this page. I put giant googly eyes. And when I look at the cartoon images of critters, I find the bigger the eyes, the cuter they look. So I like to put big, oops, wrong one. Um, I think this is, this goes, well, goes like that. Okay. So here, these are actually just from my garden. Uh, we, my husband likes taking a lot of pictures and I love flowers and that. So um, I just put together all the red flowers that he had photos of and uh, added a birdhouse because there was a photo of a bird going into the house. He managed to capture that. So I just, I did a really wide border on this side and used it almost like a frame for these three photos that I stacked. And then I just added these photos, added another border here and the matching fabric on both sides, or paper I mean, not fabric. Um, I did a pretty uh, birdhouse and used one of the layers is the same pattern. For, uh, for that, I did Crystal Nouveau drops all over it. And then uh, just the title red for the color. <clears throat> Cute little bird. So that was uh, a nice page. We like to feed the birds, so we, we get a lot of them in our yard. So, um, <clears throat> so this is uh, another panoramic photo. We have... Um, we, in Vancouver, there's uh, a few living walls, they call them. So there I have my title. So this is uh, on a bridge, an underpass. There's a living wall all above it. So I took photos of the different sections of it. They're just beautiful, and they change with the seasons. So that was nice. There's the whole bridge. And there's a panoramic photo. The bus is just going under. So... Um, because I had the panoramic and it was just scenery, I felt no problem cutting it in the middle of the page. It wasn't cutting any a person's face or anything. So, great big title all along here and just a giant flourish with a leaf on the end for each side. I found a pretty paper that had the colors that were in this. The... the uh, like I said, they change color with the seasons. It's beautiful. They're perennials. So, there's another page. Um, these are just flowers from my garden. Um, so, this is just the irises. I had this beautiful paper. Um, so, I... It was in the purples, so I just I just loved it, and I wanted to use it, so I did here. I think it's from close to my heart, this paper. So I made a beautiful frame for um, a photo, and I just did a simple border punch borders on this. This was just so beautiful, I didn't need to do anything much on this page. So I <clears throat> used... A coordinating paper from, to this for the top and bottom created large because they're large florals I created large boxes for them and just repeated this little border detail over there found an iris image in Cricut design space I lifted it up on lifters and did my photos all in ovals on this page did a, this is just a Creative Memories um, cutting system shape. So uh, that shape holds a 4x6 cut into their oval. 
So that's another page. <clears throat> Some of these can be used for children playing outdoors and that sort of thing. Okay, these two finally found the two that go together. All right, so this is just the bird houses in our backyard and around. So uh, I didn't. Uh, I found paper that had the photos, the the colors in these photos, and then I used um, because there are birds going in and out of these houses. He's just sitting there looking at you. Um, I I did a bird theme and bird house on bird houses on these pages. So I just did a, a wide border of the pretty paper, repeated it over here, and used a, a coordinating paper for frames on both pages. And then I matted the other photos in a different color on both pages. Found these images in um, Design Space. So I, uh, I just love Love, love, love all these little birds. We do feed them, so they're around a lot. This is a neighbor's purple martin house. This is my vegetable garden. I, um, yeah, I think this goes this way. Right. So, <clears throat> I just took pictures of my, uh, garden growing and this was a castor bean plant we had it's way taller than my husband so I did a garden theme I have paper that had vegetables all over it um, I stay uh, two years behind so I know I'm going to be scrapbooking photos of certain things so when I see certain papers I buy them and this vegetable paper I knew I would be scrapbooking vegetables so I did peas tomatoes, uh, uh, zucchini or cucumbers, and beets, all kinds of things, and just put my pictures in. I did do a big block of a striped paper that had all the colors of these. It coordinated with this. So um, then just did a fancy frame on the one picture over here. Simple, fun page. These are more flowers from my garden. So, um, very colorful because the flowers are so bright. So I found a watercolor background that had all the colors in it and then coordinated two prints to it. I did Kiwi Lane all along the bottom. And I uh, did them twice so I could outline one in red to give it a defined form. Okay, so now I have, I add another bee up here just for interest. I like adding bugs. So um, I did, took a fine pen and outlined polka dots all around the edges of the wings. I did the centers of the flowers as well. So that's that. We um, <clears throat> get Baltimore Orioles in the spring, so I'm always on the lookout for them. I absolutely love them. They're the most colorful birds we get, well, other than Cardinals and Blue Jays. So um, I did a page devoted to them. I love this wonderful frame, so um, I just thought I'd use it there. I did a bird border punch all along the bottom <clears throat> and I cut pieces of paper. I cut it twice, once like a, a shadow so that it would be filled in here so it showed up more. I did a border here and one there in this beautiful paper and then I found a, a bird on a birdhouse image here. Um, I did another bird on a, another fancy frame here and cut him out in the same colors and then put oranges because they, they like to eat oranges. I put, this is cantaloupe right now, I just put that out until they come and then I switch it and put out my Oreo feeders. 
So um, I did some pretty oranges there. Pretty page. Love the Oreos. We also had <clears throat> a hawk come to visit us on our garden because we feed the birds. I think that attracted him. And uh, so I had this cactus paper and didn't quite know what to do with it. <clears throat> so here was a chance to use it. So uh, because this bird just hung around in our yard for about 20 minutes, we had a chance to <clears throat> to take quite a few pictures of them. So I just, uh, there was cactus all over the paper, so I found a beautiful cactus image here and here and made some pretty frames. And uh, so I found a hawk image and uh, did a great big one right there. Very simple page because most of the decorating was on the pa background paper. <clears throat> we also have doves. So here's the dove on the bird bat. And so I found paper in uh, the colors. And same colors as the dove. Beautiful tone bird. Just put a title on this. This is all the paper background so I added a bird to it and then uh, did a nice frame for both of them in a coordinating print. Um, the, these are probably two love birds that I put on here and just this is a flourish from a die that I used. We also have robins that nested in our neighborhood. So here is a um, picture of the robins, and I did Kiwi Lane along the bottom. I did uh, coordinating prints. Then I found uh, a bird on a nest, because I have a photo of the, the nest there. So um, I did a nest on, on this page, found a branch, and just added a flower. This is just an, a decorative image I put on there. And these scrolls I added are from dies. Uh, these frames are from Elegant Edges. And uh, that was just quite, quite simple. I try to repeat things from one page on one side to the other. So I repeated these borders and um, the, the birds, the flourishes, that type of thing. These, this is owls. So this paper had everything on it. There's um, an owl right here and there's an owl photo. So I just did a frame and put it on. And the same with this had some birds on it. These, this was a bird sanctuary. So um, we had some photos of the birds. I just used uh, border deep edge border punches for uh, to make frames for these. It was very simple. <clears throat> and now this is a fall page. Uh, the, all the trees in our neighborhood, <clears throat> quite pretty. And so I found this paper with uh, sunflowers on it, and red and gold because. The trees were those colors. So I looked for some fall images and uh, did some leaves and acorns. The title had acorns too. I repeated acorns on both sides and found a cute owl. Put them on a branch and did some uh, lovely frames, oval frames for these photos. But cutting them into ovals I had a little more my pretty paper showed more and I had more space to put some images around so um, <clears throat> that's the fall page so this is just uh, we have yellow finches that we feed and so I I did a page with them I close cropped the photo and put it uh, 
on top of this cage image and I used Kiwi Lane background or borders at the bottom. Um, used co coordinating papers and here's a coordinating print. I did a bird bath with a, a yeah I made the bird yellow because the finches are that color. So um, that's the end of this group of photos. Thank you for watching and you can go to meandmycricket.com to get page links for any of these.